Space Shuttle just covered at Ivan. The hatch is now open. At 9.33 p.m. Central Time. Nicole Stott arriving at her new orbital home for the next three months. Hatch opening coming at 9.33 p.m. Central Time as uh, Discovery in the International Space Station flew 225 miles over the North Atlantic at a mission elapsed time of one day, 22 hours, and 34 minutes. For the second time in as many months, 13 crew members occupying the orbital outpost. The two crews uh, moved very briskly through their leak checks and pressure checks of the vestibule connecting the two vehicles, opening up the hatches about a half an hour ahead of schedule. Gennady Padalka, the expedition commander, will uh, run through a uh, quick safety briefing for the arriving shuttle crew before they get down to work with the uh, exchange of custom-made Soyuz seat liners to officially mark the start of Nicole Stott's tenure as an expedition crew member and Tim Copra transitioning from a space station flight engineer to a space shuttle mission specialist. And so after a brief greeting, uh, back to work uh, for the 13 crew members. Again, uh, this safety briefing coming up will be followed uh, by the uh, removal and exchange of the custom-made Soyuz seat liners between Nicole Stott and Tim Copra, and the initiation of robotics work in which um, Kevin Ford and Copra will be at the Space Station Robotics Workstation of the Destiny Laboratory uh, to uh, maneuver the Canadarm2 over in position to grapple and unberth the orbiter boom sensor system, the boom extension, and hand it off to the shuttle robotic arm that will be controlled by Pat Forrester and Jose Hernandez, who at that point will be back onto the aft flight deck of Discovery.
After the early orientation of the International Space Station for Jose Hernandez uh, facing the camera, Nicole Stott, uh, who is uh, just arrived on her new orbital home for the next three months, and pilot Kevin Ford. Mike Barrett arrived on the International Space Station back in March. He'll be returning home with Gennady Padalka and Canadian spaceflight participant Guy La Liberté in their Soyuz vehicle on October 11. Christopher Fugel sang of the European Space Agency returning to the International Space Station. He first flew on the STS-116 mission.